Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Manta and today I'm reviewing the LA Gear Cooling Blanket. Before I get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow me on social media. As usual, I'm going to cover a bit of background on the cooling blanket as well as my pros and cons. So if you want to skip forward to the pros and cons, feel free to use the timestamps. I'll put them in the description box below. I do want to point out that Elegear did send this product to me complimentary for this review video. So thank you so much. There is a lot to talk about this cooling blanket. So sit back and relax and let's go ahead and begin. So more about this blanket, this is the Amazon's choice for cooling blankets right now. And essentially, this is supposed to kind of help you keep cool and absorb your body heat. It's made of what they call a Japanese Q-Max material or fiber, and this is like a cooling fiber, and it's meant to kind of describe an instant heat loss amount. And so I think the average is 0.2, and this has a Q-Max amount of 0.4. So it's supposed to be extra cooling. It's supposed to absorb your body heat so that you keep cool. There are two sides to this blanket. This side is is a cooling side and it is made of like a cool nylon material which is supposed to help for like really hot times this other side is made of 100% cotton and it is a little bit warmer not as cooling and it's meant for more colder nights so you can kind of use this all year round and that they say you could put it in front of an AC unit or a fan to make it extra cold but I haven't personally tried that it also comes in three different sizes for like a twin bed queen and king size bed and as you can see it is really thin material i don't know if you can see that it's also really packable so um, they recommend that you can use this on airplanes and this is how small the smallest size folds up to sorry it's kind of a messy fold right now but really this is not that much um, it's pretty small and i bet like if i rolled it it could probably be a little bit smaller than that it's really all the space that it takes if you want to bring it to travel. Even though it's thin and packable, it's also a little heavier, like it's got a bit of weight to it, like heavier than a throw blanket. So there's that, it does feel a little bit heavy. And this cooling side is colder than other regular blankets. And then the other side, the warmer side does feel like a cotton t-shirt basically. It also says it's machine washable, but I honestly haven't washed it yet. I might just stick to hand washing it if I do, but I'm just a little worried, but it does say that it will last in the washer. Um, and then you air dry or lay it flat to dry. Let's go ahead and move to the pros in my opinion. So I started using this because we started experiencing heat waves here and we don't have AC. It started getting really hot. I do want to point out that it's not meant to like instantly cool you down like an AC unit. Like you're not going to get that out of a blanket. I would say this is perfect if you need a layer of comfort or like a, you need a blanket layer to sleep or to nap or anything like that. Like for me, I can't sleep without covers. I need to have something covering me for that like feeling of security in order for me to sleep. It's really hard for me to sleep without that. So a cooling blanket is perfect if that's how you like to sleep. If you like a layer of something, but it's too hot to, you know, put on a regular throw blanket or sheet or anything like that. It is really meant to bring your body temperature down gradually and I've slept with this and you know in the middle of the night it does get colder and I've had to flip it to the warmer side or just stop using it and use a regular blanket. So I feel like it does do its job there where like if you want the feeling of a blanket but you also want it to kind of help you keep cool, this kind of helps but it doesn't cool you down like instantly, like that's not its job. I've tried using it two ways. I've tried sleeping with it on top of me and also sleeping on top of it, kind of like as a bed sheet. So first when I sleep with it on top of me, sometimes it you know gets me pretty cold in the middle of the night and then I'll have to flip the blanket to the cotton side or use a warmer blanket. Um, I've noticed that when I sleep on top of it like a bed sheet, it keeps me relatively cool throughout the night and I kind of enjoy using it that way. This might be TMI, but I'm kind of like a sweaty sleeper sometimes. So I've had nights where like I sweat a lot, especially when it's like really hot. So when using it as like a bed sheet or like a cover to sleep on top of, I actually found that was 
pretty effective for me and I sweated a lot less or not at all on some hot nights so definitely consider using it that way as well because of the weight that it has it almost feels like a very thin weighted blanket like it does feel heavier it's almost like a hoodie like weight to it so it just feels heavier than a regular blanket even though regular blankets are thicker i don't know if that makes sense but it just is it's just a little bit heavier again like i said earlier they do recommend it for travel so you could bring it on those airplanes where they circulate the ac and like it's really cold i typically find the airplane cabins to be pretty cold so i think this would be a really good travel blanket as well i did show how small it packs which isn't too bad but honestly i don't know if i'd pack it with me because it is a little bit heavier and i typically don't have extra space to plank to pack a blanket but if you do this would be a good option for that as well now moving on to cons honestly the only con that i could think of is like i'm not a huge fan of the color it has like this heather shade going on so it kind of look kind of looks like really casual whereas i like to have like solid colored blankets it's not like fancy looking or anything like that but yeah that's really my opinion i honestly feel like this blanket belongs in its own category so it's hard to compare it to because it's not exactly a throw blanket and it's not like a comforter or anything like that it's like a cooling blanket that's thinner than other blankets and i just don't know like i can't think of any other cons to it it's very different than every any other blanket that i used or owned if you're looking to stay cooler while you sleep i highly recommend you check this out i'll leave the link in the description box below hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if this video helped you and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this hope to see you in the next one thank you so much for watching Bye.